as I was saying, episode starts <laughs> with um, Cal uploading a video to YouTube. Uh, then her family show, uh, seems to hate her entire existence and want her to be miserable as fuck. She goes to school where all the students, teachers, and the principal all seem to hate her. Except this one dude named Bruno. Like, dear lord, this girl is hated. Right, now, she goes home. Package from grandma. Cool. Very nice. Um, she goes to take her driving test. Fails, because she puts her car in reverse. Parents hate her still. Uh, make, uh, and they also make fun of the driving, uh, test person. Um, because apparently they just don't want to follow the law, which that's great. Um, they hate her kid, they hate their kid, and they don't want to follow the, the basic driving laws. You know, stop at stop signs, stop at red light. Uh, you know, look in the mirrors, blah, blah, blah. All, all of the generic stuff that nobody does. <laughs> realistically except during their driving test um i mean i stop at stop signs and red lights obviously but like the look in your mirrors every like three seconds thing nobody does anyway uh they go shopping for clothes uh camel and her mom uh everyone is making fun of her for being short um, there are a bunch of gossips. Um, Camel comes up, asks her parents, can you drive us to AvengerCon? Um, her parents give, give her the middle finger without actually giving her the middle finger. But that's pretty much what, what the response is. It's no, but fuck you also. Um... Jeez, we went from Clark Kent being an overly protective parent uh, uh, in Superman Lois to Camo's parents, reminding me of my own father. Never a good analogy or comparison. Ever. But hey, uh, let's move on. Um, Camo comes up with this really overly complicated plan to get her and Bruno to thing and um, to a vendor con. Her parents come in and like, look. We've had a talk with your brother, and we'll agree to go. One, if your dad goes with you, and two, if you dress as the Hulk. Uh, she very much lashes out, and justifiably so. Um, Yamala just lashes out, and she kind of makes her dad cry a bit. He gets like, mm. Anyway, the plan is set into motion. And they go to AvengerCon. Uh, Yamala's idea for... A little bit of yourself in her costume is a bracelet that uh, that was part of the package her grandmother sent over. She couldn't get it open at first. Oh, she also forgets the gloves that Bruno made her uh, in the bathroom on the floor. It's fucking hilarious. Because she changed in the bathroom stall. Um, which I've actually done uh, back when I played basketball. Um, I would change because I played, I played for my church. Uh, I... Uh, I would change from my like like dress shirt and dress pants and dress shoes and shit into um you know basketball jersey uh and basketball shoes uh in the bathroom in the bathroom stall. So that was actually pretty normal. Uh I just thought it was funny that she forgot the gloves there. <laughs> anyway, she puts on the bracelet and when she goes to uh up on stage with the rest of the people in the Captain Marvel costumes, um she gets overwhelmed by all the flashing lights and shit and <sighs> She activates her powers by accident and um and very much shows it around and shoots an Ant-Man head. This causes all hell to rain down. Like literally all hell rains down. Um and while it is a bit comical, uh Zoe from her school, who is uh the queen uh witch with a bee, if you get my meaning. Uh, kind of gets caught in the crossfire. 
And by gets caught in crossfire, I mean literally the giant hanging hull, uh, Mjolnir just slams her, <laughs> slams her into the wall. Considering this, the way this girl acts, um, uh, in general, I found it funny. Um, now Hamlet manages to save her using her powers. Um, afterwards they head home, and Hamlet goes into her room where her mother is sitting there waiting for her, and. I don't know what her mom's damage is. Um, it's just. She just rips into Camelot for little to no reason. Um, sure, she snuck out, but she tried getting permission. You're the like her, her parents are the ones that are like no fun allowed. So, yeah, of course, she's going to sneak out. It's not like she's intending to be a rebellious teenager. Like, it's like, oh, you're being a rebellious teenager, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, yeah, she rips it, rips it, it, her mom rips into her, and the episode, well, kind of, sort of, it, it kind of, sort of ends um with her playing with her powers. Uh, There is a mid credit scene. Where it's um two government agents looking at a video of her using her powers and uh the dude is like, Yeah, bring her in. And uh that is the episode. Um now the show has a ton of potential, as all Marvel shows do. But if if this is gonna be a recurring theme where everyone around Kamala except her friend seems to hate her and want her to be miserable, I'm not gonna enjoy this show. Right, because it, it reminds me way too much of my own situation. Um, and it's also one of the primary reasons atheism exists, right? Like when so-called religious people seem to actively hate and hinder their kids, you don't want to be religious at that point, right? Like it, it, make, it turns people off from religion. It's like, wait, hold on a second. Mentally abusing your kids is not okay. Uh, what, what the fuck? But, I mean, hey. Uh, life sucks and then you die, I guess. Anyway, tell me what you guys thought of the episode down in the comment section down below. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay bright. I really hope this, this, this show improves in regards to the treatment of the main character.